we started uh, pursuing the idea of, of building a, a custom home uh, as we know, began after our son was born, began to notice some um, <clears throat> deficiencies with our existing house um, that were things that we wouldn't be able through renovation, regardless of how uh, in depth through renovation, th there are certain things that we just would not be able to fix with our existing house. And with where we live, um, which is kind of a resort community, um, however, we, you know, my wife and I both work um, kind of a, a middle class working family. There is a very limited housing market. So it, it was uh, just a, a necessity that if, if we were going to get the things that we really wanted to in a house, um, probably the path of least resistance would be for us to build um, our own home. Just through circumstances, we were able to, where we live, which is actually the center interior of an island, um, there's an undeveloped lot immediately next door to us that we were able to acquire uh, a number of years ago, kind of at the be beginning of this process, even before we decided um, that we did want to build a house, we did uh, happen to acquire this undeveloped lot next door to us. I, I did a little bit. I, I have a uh, neighbor at the end of a cul-de-sac next door, actually a retired architect who still has been wonderfully uh, helpful to me in, throughout this process. Um, you know, just as somebody who's built their own home. He used another home builder, one of, one of your competitors who I shall not name, but we, we spoke with them as well. But then I have, I'm a, an attorney and I have, um, Two of my partners and also one of the, the top guys at, at my biggest client. So all, all built homes with Schumacher within the last five years. And in particular, two one of those guys in particular is extremely, extremely detail-oriented, very particular, has very specific tastes, um, is, a, is a real perfectionist. And I, I figured if that guy built with, with Schumacher, and I, I know how pleased he was with the, the project as a whole, that, that was really all I needed to know. When we met with the competitor and met with you guys and looked at floor plans, and then also toured model homes, and really is why, obviously, my, my wife was the primary decision maker on most things, but you guys had the better floor plans and the the quality, the evident quality was noticeably better. We live on an island. We live right smack dab in, in the middle of an island. We're probably about 500 yards from the lake from water in all directions. Um, but for a variety of, I guess, geotechnical reasons, uh, well, to back up that a little bit, be before we started this project with Schumacher, I and we had always assumed because of where we live that a basement was not an option, period. We live on an island in the middle of the lake. Just had assumed that without doing any actual research. But as the, the initial project with, with the local builder fell apart and we started talking to Schumacher and, and looking at plans, I, we, I don't know, it just kind of dawned on me to really ask the question, can't, why do I just assume, why do we assume we cannot have a basement um, and, and start doing a little bit of research and, and where our house actually sits is, a, is about 12 feet above the lake level, and we're far enough away from it in all directions that it, it, it turned out to be completely a non-factor that we have this real extremely dense clay soil that almost makes our property ideal for a basement. Um, I think we're really probably only one of two or maybe three houses on the islands that has a basement. And so that was a, a wonderful bonus to this process, to this project.
we got exactly what we wanted. We we knew, hey, we want this kind of open concept kitchen living area on the back of the house because that's going to be facing the woods and we're putting in a little pool out there. Got that? No, it, it's exa it's exactly what we would have designed. It, it, it works out for the, uh, you know, where a master bedroom is versus the two kids room versus the guest room on the front of the house. Uh, we, I think, closed in a, a two-story foyer and took a little bit of square footage off of our bedroom to have kind of a open kid play space upstairs. Um, no, it, it, and granted, again, like I won't really, I haven't really test driven it yet, but uh, no, we knew exactly what we wanted and that's exactly what we got. I think the answer is yes, in, in terms of incorporation, like with the the finishes that we would have seen. And in, in, I know that with that stuff, that that really was more driven by my wife. Um, and I, I know that she liked, you know, I very much liked what she saw in those model homes that we did tour. Um, and I, I'm sure that, that that was very inspirational for her in her selections. But yeah, you know, she wanted you know a, a house with with little to minimal carpet. Got that. Uh, you know, wanted darker wood floors uh, for ease of cleaning or whatever the vinyl laminate. Um, got that. Wanted you know white quartz countertops, white cabinets. Yeah, you know, that we had a, a pretty good idea, I believe, of what we wanted. And it, you know, just so happened, I, I don't know where the direct inspiration for that came from, uh, whether it was touring the model homes. I think it was with the flooring. I, I think she, that's my my recollection, but with some of that stuff, I I wasn't as maybe involved with that. I, I was a little bit more involved with, I guess what I'd call some of more of the infrastructure projects and selections than, you know, as I'm sure you know, the, the house itself is just one, it's the biggest piece, but it's just one piece of the puzzle. I, I would say certainly if if you are going to build a house, um, yeah, I, I, Schumacher would be the obvious. Um, yeah, and I don't know if that's specific to our area, uh, but I, I've, everybody I, I know that built with Schumacher has nothing but wonderful things to say about the quality, the process, everything.